Hey everybody, it's me, and this video we're gonna show you how to fix my rank issue. So the way that my I built my ranking system is that if you are the signed in user, you'll be able to see your rank and the ranks you've already earned, but you won't be able to see the rank of anybody else. And since our avatar with the progress bar is built into, um, or is leveraging that rank, then we need to actually see the rank of other users, right? So as you see here, if I switch between my different users, Right? We can see our own rank, but it's though everybody else doesn't even have a rank yet. So instead of using a relation and a single value to pull in the rank, what we're going to do is use an if-then-else instead. So this part's going to be a little bit tedious, but um, the, the end effect is what we want, and that's to be our current rank. So I'm going to create an if-then-else column here, and we're going to call it if-rank. And we just have to go through all of the minimum values of our ranking sheet. So I have this brought up in another screen over here. Um, so really, we're going to say something like this. If XP is greater than or equal to 4,000, then, and then the name of the rank, master, right? And we're just going to go through here. So if XP is greater than or equal to 3,000, And guru. All right, so I have 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's see if I can just kind of uh, do an assembly line here. When you're doing really long if then else's, it's also good to go slow. I'm kind of going fast because for the sake of this video, but it's good to go slow because if you accidentally click out of this screen, you have to start all over again. It doesn't save your progress, unfortunately, right? Okay, so we want greater than or equal to. And it's especially tricky if you're on a laptop using the touchpad. With a mouse, you have a little bit more precision. Okay, so we have 3,000, then we have 2,000, 1,500, 1, Use the arrow keys so that we don't accidentally click out of it. Uh, 500, 250, 100, and then I guess just else, novice. Okay, so novice, and I'll go up the way, bronze, silver, gold, is it platinum or diamond next? Platinum, platinum, diamond, legend, beast. All right. Done. All right, so here this is our if rank. So the only caveat to this is this is really what's determining their rank, not their minimum and maximum values here. So these minimum and maximum values is really just leveraging um, our display of ones we've already earned as well as to uh, possibly for display purposes only, right? Um, the whole logic is in the if rank. All right, so I'm gonna bring my if rank column over to our rel ranks. Okay, so our current rank is bronze. That means our rank image. Okay, so now I need a relation from this value to the ranks. So I need a rel rank. And just be clear, I'm gonna say if rank. Um, so I need a relation from our if rank to our ranks rank, done. We'll drag that over. All right, so our rank image should no longer be a single value. Now our rank image should be a, um, a lookup, right? So rank image will be a lookup of our rel if rank. Uh, 
rank image. I'll just be consistent here with if rank image. Mm -hmm. Done. All right, so that's our if rank image. Um, I guess our rank color. If rank color. Again, a look up now of our rel if rank to be color. Rank progress. What was this? Progress. Math column of the progress. What's our progress here? Um, so the user XP points min points max. <laughs> Okay, so in order to determine this per user, we really have to bring the min and the max over to our user table. So I'm gonna copy this, yeah. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna copy this formula and we have to bring in the min and the max. All right, so users will say if rank min, yeah, look up. And then the if rank max look up and then the f progress if rank progress yeah math column that's the formula for the min will be the if rank min max will be the if rank max Done. Okay. Let's drag these things over. Okay, that's our if rank progress. So 34 and 34 match now. All right, so our rank progress display. Let's change this up. So our XP is still fine. Rank max is gonna be the if rank max now. And current rank is going to be that if rank. Okay. Rank avatar display. This will be, instead of the rank image, it'll be the if rank image. Done. Is that it? What to do with rank? Did I fix it? All right, let's take a look. So I should be able to see the others. If hey, look at that, that looks good. All right, so it looks like the ring is getting cut off a little bit here, but you know, that's fine. I'll take it. Cool, so now we can see the ranks of other users. Um, mine still works just fine. That's fantastic. Okay, so if I switch between these, I should be able to see the rank just fine. Awesome. Cool. All right, so that seems to have fixed it. So which means now we can just do some cleanup and get rid of all of these single value columns here. Well, before we do, actually, let's go ahead and just find all uses. Let's make sure we're not using it anymore. So that's good, we're not using that image anymore. Delete. So that find all uses is really helpful to determine if you're actually using it anymore. So we're not using that one anymore. Uh, quick chart code. Let's go there. Okay, so let's change our quick chart code. So our rank progress should be our if rank progress. And rank color should be our if rank color. Done. All right, so now we're not using that one anymore. That's good. Delete. 
rank progress, find all uses, nothing, that's good, delete. And then rank max, find all uses, nothing, good, delete. Okay, that's fantastic. All right, so hopefully that fixes it. Um, if you were running into any issues with displaying ranks, um, this should fix it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below or reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.